Well, next generation sequencing tests are just starting to change the landscape for cancer patients. Uh, we've had a quite a bit of FDA and CMS regulation just in the first half of this year, um, which have begun to lay down the roadmap for how the FDA will look at um, laboratory diagnostic tests based on genomics, uh, how they will go about um, ascertaining the quality uh, of that test, and how CMS is starting to think about how they will decide when they will pay for these tests. Uh, so the fact that we have the two major regulatory agencies in the United States starting to, to set policy um, uh, is a big step forward. Um, however, <laughs> the uh, payment policy issued by the national coverage decision uh, by CMS uh, a couple months ago is extremely narrow. Uh, it is essentially, as I interpret it, limits it to um, uh, when there is a, um, a specific genomic biomarker matched to a specific drug that's been FDA approved. In, in that circumstance, um, uh, combined with a patient with advanced cancer, uh, there will be payment for it. Uh, but it's still a very, very limited role. Um, the alternative is that we rely on traditional biomarker testing, which is either uh, a series of sequential tests that consume a lot of sample, and very often you may run out of sample before you've done all your testing, um, or some limited panel, um, which is increasingly sh being looked at as both an inefficient and expensive way of doing genomic testing. So I, I think that it is a good news that the FDA and CMS is recognizing that uh, requiring a specific companion diagnostic test for every single drug that is precision medicine based is no longer the way to go. Um, but we're not quite there yet.